holiness of God deposited in man. Glory, glory. Glory is not just light sparkling. It's the presence and the awesomeness of God packaged in a container, in a thing, in a place, in an environment that brings about a change that causes attraction. Now, the glory of God bypass human syllables and human philosophical uh, descriptions of things. Uh, and even mathematicians will not be able to add together all the things that are happening around your life. Um, because when they sit down to say one plus one, we know it's two. But when it comes to your life, it becomes 11. So they don't understand. They can't add up why it's like that. It's the glory of God that separates contemporaries from contemporaries. We can be two mathematicians, but because the glory of God is upon me, when I speak as a mathematician, I'm different from you. It's the glory of God that separates preachers from preachers, men of God from men of God. It's not because uh, one is better than the other. It's because the glory of God is upon one, and one is just a lecturer. It's the glory of God that we make two doctors to stay, and ten people are, are, are aligned around the other doctor than the other doctor it's the glory of god that we make so many parents to say i prefer this other female pediatrician than the other one the glory of god distinguish you in the place of your contemporaries uh, the glory of god when it comes upon a man it doesn't consult your qualifications your ability capacity it just takes your inability and modify it and magnify you it's the glory of god you see god like dealing with things that people think are useless in fact god we want to show that it is his glory that makes a difference am i communicating that's why when the glory of god came upon david he was just a shepherd boy by the backside of the desert but the glory of god brought him out to become king it's the glory of god that will make the most detressed the most abandoned rejected and battered son of jacob among the twelve called joseph to become a prime minister without going to the four walls of the university he become a seasoned economics with fourth class brain in fact controlling the whole economy of Egypt the glory of God is the glory of God that makes you that when you are in the lion's den like Daniel you are there but the lions can't touch you because you have been metamorphosized to become among them it's the glory of God that will follow you into the fire even where you are in the fire you are a fire to the fire is the glory of God when the glory of God comes upon you you can be in Egypt huh? And yet you are favored. Your mother can put you in the basket and be her and felt that that's the end of you. And you can go through River Nier, and yet there is nobody to swim, no divers around you. You are crying, Moses, like an hopeless child. But the glory of God will make the daughter of Pharaoh to come and take a bath at that particular time. And she hears your voice and she begins to adopt you as a child and say, Moses, fetch out of water. When the glory of God comes upon a man's life you can talk about him the way you feel like talking you can backbite him the way you feel like backbiting but you can't change his audacity his destiny and his star it's the glory of god you see sometimes when you see men with the glory of god you feel that they are going down but the moment you are concluding they change level and go from another direction to another direction it's called the glory of god it's the glory of god that will make the enemy of jesus to crucify him on the cross and naked him and escort him to the tomb and feel that it was over but when the glory of God come he will make the jailers the guiders to fall down there will be an earthquake the tomb will be rolled an angel will stand by the tomb and say why seek ye the living among the dead whenever the glory of God come your house address change your enemies will think they will meet you where they left you but they don't understand it's called the glory of God because it's called shaking a glory there is no way when shaking in a glory is upon your life that things around your life will not shake enemies will shake out poverty will shake out because shaking a glory is around your life i feel like talking to somebody not to everybody am i communicating they must have concluded you they must have said this about you in this amount of oversized glory i just came to talk to somebody what is bigger than you is about to hit you uh what is bigger than you is about to hit you i know you are a dropout i understand 
understand that you have sickness in your body. I understand that things around you are bad. I know, I know how the things are. You can't even pay your house rent. You don't even know the next meal, where it will come from. But can I preach to you, like I am commanded to preach to you, that there is a glory that is about to hit you.